correctly at least. Um, However, Conqueror, make sure you don't fall off as hard as we see a fight Practice in a bot lane. Level one, there comes a Grant and on top of Goose, who underestimates the damage coming out from the Ezreal and the Rakanda. And I think Nightmares might very well go down here as this is an unexpected start. Nightmares uses the flay that this kill surely be given over to practice. It's a four-man collapse on this mid lane. Where is the Lee Sin going to show itself? There he is, beautiful kick there on top of Practice, who immediately needs to get out of there. The damage here, even with the true shot rush, is not enough immediately, but Knight picks up a kill there. He's tanking the turret, needs to respect that. And oh. there comes Chipapi. The satchel charge actually gets them out of there as a nice flash from Knight is unfortunately not enough. There was a great pivot there by Hades. Still had the sonic wave. Debu goes in and immediately has to go out and practice now. Maybe looking up a trap here for the mid lanes from DK. Practice goes very far forward. We see the Grand Antrus being used there on top of Nightmares. Takes a lot of damage, but oh. look at the burst on practice there from Chipapi. For DK, but they've also picked up the second Rift Herald here. Knight finding the kill uh, onto the flash. Nice. For Sector 1 coming through. That's interesting. Do they really want to go for this? To go for the dive and save. He does get flayed back into the turret. A lot of help is coming through. That's the kill on Goose. But now here, the follow up damage. Chapapi yet again finds damage on top of Praxis, who will get blown up by the Satchel Charge as well. And that is a teleport you can't really disrespect. Knight now might have a problem right here. Neither player has flash, no ultimates for either. Alois has a way to gap close. Yeah, it's on top. Conqueror gets blocked. In case now moving out, but I think this Baron is going to be gone. It's going to be about the follow up team fight. Can actually get out or find the fight here. Nightmares already taken down. Fates cold though. We'll keep him alive a little bit longer. There comes the Pop Blossom. Used aggressively. Two kills already found in sector. That though. Doesn't seem as great. I guess Knight is being faster than he already is. As we see, Poplos being used aggressively. That Alois may be fighting uh, off more than under the turret. And that would be a second. He's actually zoning there on his own. I don't know if that's really the play. Gets kicked into the satchel charts. And I'm just going for a re-engage. That's a bit premature. Fate's call used defensively. For really, really fast. And it feels like just like last time, Sector 1 have been able to just kind of take them as they are. Mega Inferno Bomb is not enough. But now the disengage. Is it going to be enough? Pop Blum used aggressively. It's not best. Gets bursted down. Hades is there. But the rest of the team from Diffuse because there's nowhere to be found. Until you've done that. Practice in a bit of an awkward spot. Has Debu as his bodyguard. He's going to move forward to go for these Mystic Shots. Look there. The engage from Savior is going to get taken low. But can that away. Hades now on off of his own. Mega Inferno Bomb. Finds Debu, but he doesn't care as much. Sector 1 takes some big risk here. Pop Blossom used the grass the on the Lois. The Crocodile on its own. No backup from the rest of his team. Lantern not available for Nightmares. And that's going to be a 4 versus 5 scenario now. With Diffuse gets staring down the barrel of a third game coming on in this best three. Sector 1 have the inhibitors now going down rapidly. It's an all or nothing stand here. No big ultimates available. Only the box. And that's going to be a really good box if you want to keep Sector 1 away. A lot of damage coming through here on night. Look at the damage. Savior gets taken incredibly low. A final bomb in combination with the Ignite. Well, actually take him down as the flash there. Gets forced from Goose. Nightmares really, really low. But it's the minion waves that are the real problem. The push continues here from Sector 1. They are just going to go straight up for the Nexus. Phoenix, let's take a low. Chipopi finds yet another kill here. As At this point in time, death times are a really big problem. They still have Baron buff available for 10 seconds. But they are one man short. And here comes the petrifying gaze. Knight goes in with a flash. There's the grand entrance as well. Hades already down to this Elder Dragon. He's going to go stolen by Debu. That's easy if there's no smite on the other team. Alois also goes barrel down the base of the fuse kids here. There's no Nexus turrets. There's an Elder Dragon buff. We're not kidding anyone. We are going to a game three in this battle of the Bandalux. This night, not yet done.